and welcome back to the biggest podcast in the Southern Hemisphere. I'm your host, Bionni B. Bit of a hiatus, I know, but we, we get that on the big job sometimes. But I'm back with my boy, Natty McLaren. Thanks for coming on, brother. I'm back, I'm back. He's back. He's, uh, he's, uh, we, we've had him on once or twice. Yeah, I don't know what episode it was, but I think it was back when um, there used to be two people here. Yeah, but he's but shit. Yeah. We can, can't hack it anymore. Like, I basically ran it back then, though, didn't I really? It used to be three, then it was two. Now one, now baby. One. Now one. Running your own show. Love it. Fucking oath. But we've got some, we've got some exciting news. Our uh, our new collaboration on the tracksuit just uh just dropped looking fresh as fuck. These bad boys are fresh. Oh, look at that freshness. So yeah, we got um the two colorways. So we got the we got the brown and then we've called this one the heather grey. So we got the um matching tracky set as well. So um they dropped they dropped last week, so you can get them on um, Distant Culture website. Um, Blake will post a link on here later as well. And um, if you're lucky, we might um, put out a little cheeky discount code later little, for you fans. Little little cheeky discount, do we? Yeah. Do, do, so. do we do it as the app drops or is it? Or do yeah, we? we'll just tell them now because I'm not a patient type yeah. of dude. So. so when this drops, you know, might, might if you put in uh, THP20, you get 20% off, so keep it on the down low, but all the fans, yeah, you got it. All the all the loyal ones, everyone else, full price plus 20%. I'm adding 50 on. I don't give a <laughs> fuck. You know what I mean? <coughs> everything. Everything. No, nah, fucking oath, bro. But <coughs> tell, tell, us, um, tell us a bit about yourself because since last time you were, you were in G-Town. Yeah, a little bit's changed my life. So you're in the big, I moved the big to, city. Um, Moved to South Yarra, um, just up behind the train station, a block from Chapel. So, a little different. <laughs> little, little, little different. Yeah, yep. no, nah, it's been a, it's been good though. Like it took, it took a while to set up though. Like, I hate moving. I've realised. Like, no one likes moving. Man, trying to move from a house to apartment, like the amount of times we had to go up and down that lift. I reckon I had about four days off work after just to recover. Oh, you, you bought all I need to. <laughs> No, honestly, moving houses <coughs> is by far the worst thing. But even in a, an apartment, that would have to be that much worse. Bro, like trying to fit everything into an elevator, then moving from your elevator to your, to your house. Like we had to fit, if you had to picture like we used to live in a pretty big house for like three people in Geelong. Yeah. And then all the furniture, everything we had trying to fit into like a, our apartment's like the size of your land room pretty much. Like the amount of stuff that we just had to sell or like you, you'd have to walk through our corridor like this. Yeah. The first like three weeks. 100%. <laughs> just because just shit was everywhere. Man, I could I could nearly do you one harder. But one time, one time I, so have I told you the story when I helped like pave you move? No, I don't think so. So I helped, <coughs> shout out Blake if you watch, big tea bagger I know. But fucking, I helped like pave you move from his place in fucking Port Melbourne to Pran. Like, and fucking, so I took my van down, helped him move and all this shit. And we absolutely loaded her up, like ridiculous. Like you wouldn't even believe we I think we done one trip. I think we only done one or two trips. I can't even remember now. That's a pretty good effort. Traffic band, was yeah. crazy, bro. It was insane. But yeah, no, because we only sort of took the big stuff. But when we were trying to take his apartment, it was so fucking, it's one of those, just those two story ones. So it's only got one, oh, yeah, like one a townhouse stairs. sort of thing. No, it's like a, it's sort of like an apart, a little apart. It looks like a little motel, like a motel sort oh, of yeah, thing. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, it's just got like the, the all the bottom floors, and then you got like the stairs to up to the like you see in the movies. And then yeah, so and, like and then it's movie. literally just the the top floor. So you walk down that, and then it's just got rooms there. But yeah. it was fucked because we had to get his couch up there, bro. <laughs> and it was like, like no offense, man, I love you, but fuck me. I was a beast cunt because you weren't much help at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I was like, fuck me, man. I, I nearly died, I reckon, doing that. It was like the scary. I reckon we broke pot plants and everything, banging shit over. Like, it was insane. Right. It was honestly the most stressful couple of days of my life. Like, I had to hire a, um, like, a big truck sort of thing. Yeah. Because, like... You you're, to, better you're better you off. You're better off because trips is fucked. Bro, we, at least we fit it all in the one, one go. But yeah. driving that thing... I'm used to just having a little car, like, 
switching lanes. Like, it was hectic. Yeah. Even I mean, trying to park it. Like, we had to... Um, is there, is there, a, is there there's a loading no, spot? No, there's, there is, but the height's 2.2 metres. Oh. So, the worst part... It, the worst part is that you couldn't even go into the directly to the lift. So we had to park like probably 30 meters from the lift. So we had to unload everything from there. Did you have someone, had to have someone just stand there? Yeah. Cause, cause you, you like d- didn't want to have to keep locking it one thing at a time into the lift. Like Fuck that. So then you're losing a person in labor. Bro, it was honestly the worst experience of my life. And then to top it off, my girlfriend moved into the same apartment building couple of months later oh we how shit's that no i'm we just had to do it all again like same <laughs> yeah. truck yeah same just thing. moving it same truck and everything same yeah. one same same, same one. higher i was like we're getting this one and a floor taller not like it makes a difference anyway because it's the <laughs> fucking elevator and shit but like still floor higher so the altitude no, up our, there. our crib's better though everyone yeah. knows it yeah it's fresh we got the best balcony best balcony it's fresh i have it's good you got the you got the um puff and the nice little comfy puff out there in the best area. No, it's fresh. It's good having um, it's got like its pros and cons. Like it's on level two, we've got our own pool, like infinity pool, sauna, spa. So it's kind of good like that. But then, not having a backyard, it's like. What would you what would you what would you say to people that are like planning on moving to Melbourne? Do you reckon it's it's worth it? Do you, do you love living it in... It definitely has its pros and cons. I'm definitely going to have to do a full summer there, like at the moment, because um, I haven't weird. really been doing much. Like, we moved there in winter. I'm still studying. Started a new UX product design course, which finishes at the end of December. So, been a bit busy. And then I ended up playing footy halfway through the season. So, half the weekends, I was back up here playing footy anyway. So, yeah. Um, but way different. Like, life, I feel like, just moves that quick. I feel like living in the city... It's like noisy, you never have quiet. Like I just feel like the days, the time just goes that quick. Like you never have time to do anything. Whereas Geelong was like way more relaxed, way chiller vibes. Do you, do you find, do you, once you walk into your apartment, do you dissociate from the rest of the world? Like do you sort of forget that you're surrounded by hundreds of thousands, millions of people or do you just sort of fucking... A little bit, but at the same time, as soon as you hot, like you walk out of my apartment being that close to chapel there's just people everywhere cars everywhere everywhere. there's noise all the time like i used to sleep like if i'd go to bed in geelong by probably like 11 12 like it's just dead silence if nothing's on in the house you'd wake up at like 2 3 a.m and you'd just be hearing cars sirens people screaming yeah it's definitely a culture shock like i remember when me and you were just chilling for like literally three four days and did fuck all Oh, maybe it was two days, but we literally yeah. did nothing but fucking. <laughs> but it was kind of alright because you just go downstairs, walk to a food place. Is that when the um, my lock broke? As yeah, well? we couldn't even get back into the apartment. Oh my bro, god, that's the worst. Bro. So that's honestly the worst part about an apartment. Like we've got these little key fog things. Like yeah. you can't. It's a card. Like you have to have in your wallet. Like yeah. the amount of times I've forgotten not to have my key, and then you have to go to the building manager. Like me lap, can you let me back up? Yeah, uh, help, help. Is that, is, that the, is that the front person? Dude's name, Milap, yeah. Yeah, because when we got bro, there... he hated me as well. Oh, at the start. hated you, bro. Not hated me, but like he'd never do anything. I was like, Milap, our thing's broken. Can you come fix it? And then as soon as my girlfriend moved in, best mate, because he loves her. Best mate. He literally will do anything for me now. Really? No joke. What a dog. I know, I was like, fuck you, Milap. Because I remember, mate, me and him, fuck, what, what do we have to do? We literally, what, how long did we go and get, oh, to get food to or something? we had to like 30 minutes. Had to get these batteries. Yeah, had like, to get batteries for. It was for a whole, like, procedure. It was a procedure. To get the door. It was. It wasn't, it wasn't fun. And I remember it because it was even funny because you were on your lunch break and it was like a, oh, yeah, we I was had a time, work. I was we had like a 15 minute break. We were like, all right, ready? One, 45 two, three. minutes later. <laughs> tried, to like, <laughs> tried to like run, run out basically and get fucking locked out. And then had to go back to Woolies to get batteries and shit. Yeah, it was honestly the worst day. It was no good. But yeah, apart from that, not much else. Doing my new course. Um, still got the still got the brand, I think, since... How long what, did, what did I drop last time I was here? Was it just the intro collection? Was that I, the, I can't remember. Was that I intro? I was right at the start. I think or, so. or was it your three T's? Oh, no, was that was archive what? capsule? Yeah, it was the three T's. Was it? Yeah, I think so. I can't remember now. Was it what? Or was it the green jumpers? Nah, it definitely wasn't them. Ooh. 
Oh, fuck. I don't even I'd know. I'd have to go bro. back. I should have yeah. done my research. Yeah, I should have done my research. <laughs> I don't even know. But fuck, you, you've done a few drops now. So when did you actually start the brand? I can't even remember. So 2020, so I was in 20, COVID. Yes. It was COVID. like the year after COVID. Was it the we same? Just chilling at home. Is that when I started the podcast? Yes. So the pod- I think you started it at a the little end bit of, after me. At the end of the yeah. year, I reckon. Yeah. I swear so many people started a side hustle or did something just some COVID. Sort of start, something some something just went thing. in their head. They're like, oh, what I'm a bit, hot, bit bored sitting at home doing nothing. What the fuck else am I going to do? Because <laughs> like so many people work, like you worked, didn't you? Yeah. Like, I, I literally did nothing for a year and a half. Yeah, fuck that. Like I I was flat I didn't work. Long. I was just sitting at home. Yeah, that's crazy. I was kind of jealous of everyone, but at the same time, when I look back on it, fuck, that would drive me mad. I probably would have like picked thing. up a lot of shit habits. Cause like, so bad. I'm not really someone that <clears throat> you want really just like sitting around bored all the time. Like I kind of like, even now, like I like to keep myself flat out. Mm. Otherwise, I'm just Yeah, like, I feel like it's a mental thing. Like you get into, I'm such a routine person. So I was so used to working every day, having shit on all the time. And then going from, for a year and a half of just doing nothing, I feel like it's taken me that long to sort of just get back into the work life routine. Like it's... I feel like I'm still not where I was before COVID. 100%. Did you, <clears throat> when you pictured like you creating the brand and stuff, did you think you'd be bigger or smaller by now? Or like what, what were your sort of expectations? Um, did you did you even I, really think honestly, about it? Honestly, like I'd hoped it was bigger, but I honestly thought I would have stopped by now. Because like it's actually such an effort and I knew that I would still be not just working, like I, I still was studying. Not, I, could, I didn't have that much time to fully put into it. But I feel like it's definitely... I feel like... The I, th- I think it's definitely gone better than I expected, to be honest. Yeah, I feel like the passion and the talent there, are, I just reckon like maybe a bit more money or something would probably be... Yeah, it's just the lifestyle, the vi- like the money, obviously. Um, and then also I'm at the stage where I'm kind of focusing on my career, career as well. Career so as well, outside like of Like I know... Everything that I need to do is just yeah the time and money to be <clears throat> honest like and you don't really um, want to put all your bread like all your bread in one basket sort of thing you're not gonna yeah like you just need to be like the move kind of pause things a little bit as well um, yeah for not kind of having my own studio space um, having to find that's a lot of new models yeah that's a yeah for the business it's kind of taking a back step sort of thing because yeah. like. Less Everything space. in Melbourne's so small. Like even just to be able to have my own studio set up in Geelong was unreal. And now I'm like, you got to book a studio. It's like hundred dollars just for an hour. Legit, it was a fresh. When I could just fresh literally studio, go yeah. into my studio, my garage, and be like, yeah, yeah. He was literally getting excited about me shed before. He's like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> wish I had a, wish I had this much space I was like, again. That's what I need. Man. That's what I need. <laughs> so true though. Like <clears throat> if I was living in. Because, like, your apartment essentially would be, like... Oh, it's tiny. This it's part of the house, almost. Yeah. Like, that's it. It's kind of, like, it's good in the way it's kind of got everything that you need. No, yeah, it's, it's it's fine in that but aspect. But in terms of, like, there'll be nights where, like, during my course, we'll have a meet-up at, like, 7 p.m. But then, like, you don't want to just be stuck in your room. So, like, my brother will be watching TV or something, and I'm just, like... I wish I had an extra room. Yeah. More space. Yeah, hundred percent. But that's like a thing with living with I feel like old school people too. You sort of want like two lounges or something like that. Or like at least two living areas, I reckon, is pretty cool. Yeah. Just so you that can definitely sort of has its pros, like or a backyard. Being able to get food is so much easier now. So like much I easier. literally live on is the that garage. Good though? It's not good for your yeah. bank account. It's not good for your bank account. Because like if I was that <laughs> close to food, I don't know. If yeah, no, nah, we've been trying to get better at cooking, but yeah, the first month or two, definitely, definitely abused Uber Eats. Yeah, 100. Definitely. And you don't even need to abuse Uber Eats because you're fucking walking distance from Uber Eats. I still get Uber Eats. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm going to go down the elevator, walk, it's cold. I was like, yeah, we'll just get it. Yeah. It's like extra $5. Yeah, fuck it, why not? Yeah, I'm fucking shocking too because like I'm I'm I don't really use Uber Eats that much because it sucks in Bendigo, but fucking menu log, mm. like I'm <clears throat> I give that shit a beating, and like I'm shocking because like I'll I'll go to like the me favorites all the time. I'll get like grilled fucking shit like that. It gets a bit boring too though. Like now I've started cooking more because I'm kind of like all right, I've experienced everything. Like I know what's there, so I've like I feel like when you go somewhere new, you're a bit lazy. Like we're still moving in, but. 
definitely, definitely a pretty good cook myself. So you are try to cook as much as I can. You are a pretty good cook, but that's because your mum's a cook. Mum's a cook, so, so yeah, um, learned from a young age. Yeah. Was she a cooking teacher at Castlemaine High as she well? Was. Yes. She was. She used to teach me, actually. Yeah, but she would have hated you as a student. Bro, she actually gave me an inter-school suspension once in yeah. her own class. That's fucked up. <laughs> mum, what are you doing, mum? <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> oh, it was the funniest story. So, like, I think she was yelling at someone outside. And um, my best friend at the time, Doug, he, like, got a full bowl of flour, ran up at me and just tipped it on my head. And, like, I used to have a big fro as well. So it was just, like, a yeah. headache to get out. And we'd cook these um, calzones. Do you know what a calzone is? It's like a little pizza, pizza but folded in yeah. half. But I don't know, it just came out the oven and I've like picked it up. You didn't know? No, I don't know, it just came out the <laughs> oven. <but> like, <laughs> or maybe I did. And I've like gone to throw it at him. But like as I've thrown it, she's come back in to the room. So I've like, but it was too late. So I've like thrown it and like seen her. Hoofed it and it's just like opened up in the air, hit him in the neck, and the cheese was like melting onto his neck. <laughs> it's just like, what are you doing? He would have like, been like, was he that. squealing? Was it like- uh, he was like full. She got him, like ran him to the sink, like <laughs> wet cloth on him. I think he has like a little scar there now, actually. <laughs> fucking third degree burns uh, and yeah. shit. Fun days, fun days. Looking like he got fucking caught in a house fire. <laughs> fucking hell. That's what burns are a fucked pain. I reckon they leave cooked scars too, and like they're sort of like sensitive. They like make you sensitive. Forever, I reckon right? it's like worse after as well. Like you know when you burnt, but then you'll if it's a real bad one, you put it under water. But as soon as the water's off or something cold, it just burns even more. Yeah, hundred, hundred percent. But I suppose it's probably it's probably a good thing though, because it's like, but it's like when you sunburn, right? Like you sunburn. How's you that a, feel though? You have a cold shower or like a hot. Hey? Never been sunburned. So. Oh, yeah, true. If <laughs> 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 I used to walk around school, I was like, fuck, I wish I knew what that felt like. Yeah, I can't. You're fine. Just I, be hitting everyone. They're like, ow. You can, I, I can tell you, man. I, I, uh, as someone that's been sunburned once or twice, uh, a week in summer, <laughs> <laughs> man, I fucking burn, baby. I'm, yeah, it does look painful, especially when you start peeling. It's like, uh, yeah, when you're peeling, it's pretty chatness. Do you get vitamin D deficiencies because of that? Not that I know of, really. Never never even thought about it? I know it's a thing, but, yeah. like, personally, I don't know if I... Like, I'm out in the sun a lot, though, so I feel like I wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th- I wouldn't even know what the signs are. Like, I don't get sick that much. I don't, I don't know what I possibly could, but I've never, I've never looked into it too much. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Maybe I'll have to check it out next week. Yeah, Go get to the doctor. B- vitamin D tablets or something. I've actually wanted to now that now that I'm getting older and stuff, I always like think about doing random checks like that. But I feel like as a male, something inside of me goes, "Fuck that! I don't, right. even, I don't even want to know." Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that! Should be right. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? Who cares? Nah, I feel that. If you're gonna die from it, would you rather fucking drop dead doing something and not knowing, or yeah? Or do you or do you want to know? Depends what it is, but I feel like at this age, nah. Maybe when we're like eighty, yeah, legit. It's like, yeah, fuck, fuck dying at this age. I'd just be like, okay. It's one of those things though, but at the same time, it can happen. Yeah, can yeah. happen. So, sometimes you just forget that, eh? It's like, life can be so short. Sometimes I get the like a realisation of it every now and then and I'm just like... Yeah, I had one. I um, need to be better. This week, I don't know if you heard the story about the, um, the young girl at the Melbourne show that got hit by the roller coaster. Bro, was she trying to grab her phone or something? Do you know what the worst part is? What? The whole time I thought it was just a random, like someone that went to the show yeah. that didn't know the roller. She was a worker. Yeah. So like she knew that the, I was like the roller coaster was going. Like, yeah. don't they have to teach them like, hey, like I was like. Surely. But is but, that, is that just like how addicted we are to phones and shit now? But to be honest, I would not I risk that. No, I'd drop that and I'd be like. I reckon it comes down to the person. Like um, my girlfriend and I literally like a day after Crossed the road, she dropped her phone on the road. Yeah, she could have easily been like, oh, "I'm gonna get it," but she just like sat there, just prayed while the car went past, just missed it. Yeah, no, that's that's probably probably a mature thing to do. Hundred percent, because it, it's like how you did you ever run oh. onto a road to like 
get like a ball or something back in the day. Like you'd be playing footy or something or fucking something like that. And then it, the ball starts flying towards the road. Yeah, I feel like I'm definitely a risk taker in that sense. Mm. But I feel like I'd make a pre- pretty good decision. Like I could, I'd be like, nah, I've got this. I can think fast. Or, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I've got reflexes like a like big a truck's coming. Nah, got this. She'd be right, mate. Hold up. I'll just walk out in front. Stop. Mate, one time I was driving in town and I was about to turn left coming at you. So the bowling alley, like, you know where the bowling alley is? I was, t- yeah. I was coming past that on the other side, turning left towards like the deck sort of. And this crackhead fucking cunt was like looking at me. And as I went to take out, dead set just walked out straight in front of me. Didn't give a fuck. Just like full played chicken with me. And then I kept... Oh, he wasn't even looking either, was he? He was just like... No, he was, and then I, I just kept going, and then he had the, <laughs> and then he had the jump out the way. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love I love doing that to people that cross the road when you know that they've seen you, but they still decide to cross. I'm just like, bruh, I'm obviously gonna go a bit quicker now. Like. Yeah, just try 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 and get your fucking get like within a meter, and if they've only got a foot there, you ah oh, fuck, I have to go back now. <laughs> uh, I hate, bro. I'm the worst road rager. Like. I'm, I'm honestly the most chill dude until you get me behind a wheel. Like I hate stupid drivers. I'm pretty bad, but I can't. That's a, another thing in the city. Like so many dumb drivers. I'd nearly have to fucking get public transport everywhere because I'd go nuts. Mm. But at the same time, I hate. Public you don't have transport. to. Where I live, you don't have to drive that much. Like I save that much money on fuel because I only have to. This is the first job where I've worked from home. I only have to go into the office once a day. And even then, it's a fifteen-minute car trip to work. Yeah, you take that. That's so it's yeah, it's pr- it's in that sense, it's pretty good. Yeah. It's almost quicker to walk I to the places on a need than to like fully get in the car, find a park, go in. So I walk like heaps. And you've got to go set up too because you've got like an underground car park and stuff, and that's like that's so handy. Mm. That's so handy. It's ridiculous. It's just good though because like being so close to Chapel Street, I'm so keen. For this summer, because I'm going to be at your house all the time. Right, couch is always oh, there. Oh, bruh. You fit like three people on it as well. It's lit. Oh, two more. Let's go. <laughs> 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 nah, man. I'm, a, I'm actually keen as. How was this now? It was actually, it was started off the day thinking it was going to be lit. Oh, it was like no sunny. Good. Yeah. No, nah, it was actually, it was pretty good. Yeah. But um, we went to my brother's girlfriend's house for prees and then the day just started getting worse and worse. So I was like, holy shit, it's, it's just gone from like being sunny to absolutely grey. Like it looked like it was just going to thunderstorm. And then it just kept getting worse. Like we got the Uber, rocked up and it just started raining as we got there. And I was like, this is honestly going to be the worst day of my life. It was like, I think the year I went in 2019, it just pissed down rain like for the they closed the stage and I was like, it's just going to be a recap of that. But then it was like an hour in and it was grey, but it actually kind of got warm. Like it just stopped raining. Um, and then once you kind of in the huddle and shit, I was like, oh, I had to full take my jumper off. But yeah, it was actually unreal. It was probably close to my favourite one. I think I've been the last three years. Yeah. It was probably, yeah, it was, all the acts were good. Like nothing went wrong with the stage. Um, the crew was good. Yeah, fresh. It was actually, yeah, it was lit. I was gonna say because you you feel the cold too. So I was gonna say if you I'm if it was cold with the cold, bro, your, your nights like nearly ruined. Bad. But I was like, I was smart. I was like always trying to get into the middle of each crowd. I knew when I was like sitting on the outside, I got a bit chilly. But I was like, just just moving in. Start doing like the dancing. The fucking have you seen that? The, I didn't know you were chill like that. <laughs> Have you seen those TikToks and shit? They're so cook, mate. I don't know when I became a person that watched TikTok. Nah, you definitely missed out. It was pretty. It was pretty good. Yeah, Roddy no, Rich was unreal. Like I was sick. so keen for Roddy. But I'm a broke ass bitch until I get my house done at the moment. So kicking goals. Yeah, how's that going? Uh, it's taking a while. We had um taking we had a look at it before as well before the podcast. So fresh. It's um definitely in renovation stage. But yeah, it's full looking like a crackdown at the moment. I'm keen to see it finished though. Oh, so Unreal. It's gonna. Oh, it, I can't even wait. I literally can't even wait. And then I can start doing fun shit and planning for like 
Euro trips and and summer and summer. Summer's gonna be lit. Yeah, I know. I gotta. It, what scares me about myself is it's like <clears throat> I, I I know it's gonna be a big summer, so I've got to like not make it that big because I'm shocking. Like I. Yeah, I know. I, <laughs> I'll, ha- I'll 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 like fucking spend like fucking three like three months worth of savings in like two weekends and be like, I'll call up Erica. I'll be like, Erica, what am I doing, Erica? You need to get your son in line. He's playing too hard. Cut him I'll off. just tell you to go back and look at this podcast. Okay. Nah, I'm not too bad, but <clears throat> I've definitely um I've been hurting myself recently a little bit. I actually threw up in my sleep the other week. Oh yeah, what was that about? Threw up in my sleep. Um, went to went to uh, Ricky's house and got drunk, and then literally he had me at drunk. I was like, "Yep." Don't remember going home. Have videos of me f- passed out on the street, on the road, falling out of the car. Photos of me in my bed with throw up all over my bedside table. <laughs> Woke up from fucking two a.m. Onwards, throwing up till fucking midday, bit after. Bro, you honestly you used to be that good at it, but I feel like as soon as you hit like 25, you've just become the worst. No, nah, I'm a good drinker again. I was. Nah, I just mean like you just don't know, you just keep going until you get to that stage. Oh, yeah, sometimes. You can't yeah. cut it off. I remember when you came to Geelong, you had like. 12 espresso martinis and you just kept coming out every like every 20 minutes with just double parked yeah baby <laughs> and that's it that's how you meant to drink espressos i think you're supposed to have like four of them yeah i think at yeah. a time mm-hmm. I, don't I think th- it's five isn't it oh is it five yeah fuck so yeah, actually i was one discount. short you the discount as well if you do that oh thp 20 Oh, twenty percent off cocktails. Yeah, if you say that when you're out, guys, it's uh cocktails free, all night, everywhere, everywhere. Trust me, just trust me, just go, just like, just say right at the end, rack up a massive tab. Just be like, can we get a tab, please? Rack her up, and then world well, joy. Then you get a new sponsor this week too, Apple. Yeah, yeah, and the UFC. Yeah, you're killing it. Yeah, the UFC sponsored me as well. They said they want to. Fucking peak performance looking bloke like me on their front covers and shit. Hi, how's that going? Have you, um, you told me the other week that you're thinking of uh, kind of going down that path? No, not really. I'd, lo- I'd love to, but I also don't have Just a big to. fan. Massive fan. Big, big, big fan. Big hype. I just, I just respect it. I'd love to. I'd love to go gladiator mode. You kind of got me onto it, actually. I never really watched it until I came here, and I was like, "Whoa, this this shit's lit." T Time loves it. I was like, "I want to get into it." Yeah, he knows everyone. Yeah, T Time loves it. He actually does. <coughs> me and him always talk about it. Fucking, I feel. Like, I remember we used to always get like the pay per views in like Geelong and shit, and just like I feel like you'd have to be that fit though. Oh, ridiculous! Feel like fighting I'm, for twenty five minutes. When you wrestle with someone for like two minutes, I'm puffed. They they're doing that for like. Five rounds. Oh, I was like, shit. It's gross. And then also getting punched and kicked in the head and stuff. It's ridiculous. You're like, oh. No, thanks. I don't know if that's good for you. <laughs> but the amount of money they get, I'm like, oh. Some of them. If I could go back in time. Yeah. Some, they probably deserve more money, really. But it's one of those things. You got to also become a YouTuber now. Yeah, I, that's what I am. I'm a YouTuber. That's what I mean. That's where the money's at. That's where I'm at, baby. That's where the money... That's why I'm rich. That's why I got my first house. All these endorsement deals, these money. The T... Oh, this, wait, this is my house right here. This is the THB collection. I just bought my house after this drop. That uh, brown's actually... Yeah, looks good on you, bro. Ooh, thanks, brother. Appreciate that. that Which one would you say is your favourite out of the two? I nearly can't even pick, but... I'd probably... I'd, I'd nearly probably, probably say the Heather Grey. Mm. Just because I, I like the old... Pure. Let's show them the. Let's show them the buttons. Oh, let's show them the buttons. Oh yeah, the buttons do. Oh, little added feature. Check that, baby. Who's got that? Who's got that? Oh, nah, know. these are these are good though. Like I've got the new fleece material as well, which is super comfy. Yeah, hundred percent. So how, how do you? I like swear I'm inside out as well. If you want that like kind of look. True. I'll do that. I'll post a photo for everyone that's watching. I was going to say, how do you go about like 
picking materials and stuff that you like? What's the... Um, so it starts off with just sampling sort of thing. So they kind of... Um, like, yeah. They send you a colour book, um, which has like all the different materials, all the colours, and then you kind of you kind of just see what you like, but then you kind of like have a little feel. Um, and then you might hit up your supplier. You're like, all right, um, like for instance, for these, I'm like, all right, I'll get that fleece material in the 450 grams. And then it's just trial and error from there, really. Like you might receive it and you're like, nah, this one's shit. I'm going to try another one. So it's a lot of trial and error, but I feel like if you have – um. Or if you have another brand that you like, though, you can kind of imitate it. Like you go on their website, you're like, all right, what what materials are what weight? And you can kind of base it on that. So yeah, true. That's sort of how I I kind of go about Smart. it. Smart. Learn off others that are already sort of – well, that's sort of the way yeah. to do it, isn't it, really? Like yeah. it's that hard to come up with anything that hasn't been done, really. Like the amount of people that are like, oh, I've seen that before. And you're like, you could almost pick that for any design. Like you're going to get inspo from anywhere, but – you just got to put your own little, little, a little twist, twist on it, it yeah. and keep keep growing the brand, keep growing it up. That's it. And then, when it's the biggest brand in Oz, that's a goal. What's like this? Because like you've always sort of went for like a minimalistic style. Is there, is there a um a limit on what you would eventually do? Do you reckon, or would you just keep trying new stuff and see? Definitely keep trying new stuff. I feel like once the audience is bigger. I would definitely kind of branch out. Are you always going to um, be drops? Are you always going to do drops, you reckon? Uh, Instead of well, just having like... Depends. If it grows, Mike, I'll probably head more towards collections once you kind of grow it. So I'll yeah. have like a summer, spring, winter, autumn. Win- yeah, because you can go like summer one, summer two, summer three. Yeah, pretty much. So it just depends how big it is. But the... The goal is to just have those, cons- just be consistent, like drop summer, drop spring, drop winter, autumn, and just yep. keep it that way, but just keep bringing out new stock. So, for example, this drop, we did two trackies, two hoodies, next drop, it's like, let's go, let's go bigger. Let's get four tees, four yep. shorts, let's do some hats, let's do some shorts. So, it's just... Always like evolving, always trying to get bigger, but just to stay consistent, I think that's the key. And you sort of always have to keep in front of fashion in a way because you sort of have to plan for the seasons mm, ahead, ahead of Yeah, ahead that's of what time. I've learned. You kind of have to. You got to sort of know ahead. Like coming. I'm already doing the summer range now. Yeah. Because by the time you do your design samples, say you're not happy with the first couple, then you got to wait another two, three weeks for them to come back. Literally. Got to wait about a month for them to be delivered you got to shoot all your content and put it out so it is a bit of a process especially like kind of having a modeling background as well and seeing how other brands do it like i had a shoot with wonder two weeks ago and they were already kind of shooting content for like winter next year yeah okay or like their seasons ahead sort of thing yep so Yep. So, have you still been modeling and stuff flat out? Are you still with an agency? No, nah, not as much, to be honest. Um, or just with work, because now I'm working a lot more. So you just doing um, private so stuff I now. Kind of. I still work for the same brands, but just not as regularly, because yep. they just don't give me enough notice. So, like, work's really chill. If I'm like, all right, next week I've got a shoot on or something, but at the moment they're like, oh, we've got a shoot in two days. Can you do it? I'm a bit like. No, it's not enough notice. <laughs> like I wish I could because it pays way better, but it's like yeah, it's be not consistent enough to just do that. Yeah, it's but then you don't want to use your day to day job as well, so it's a bit, it's a bit hit and miss. Yeah, but right. every now and then, like you'll get a pretty cool campaign. Like um, I've got one in November with Edge, and I think it's like two hundred an hour, and you get an extra two k for if you get put on a poster. So I was like. They better put me on everything. Yeah. <laughs> Chuck on every post to go around. I like, yeah. I want to be on everything. So that means like in stores and shit like mm. that. Yeah. yeah, that'd be cool. Fresh. So Benigo Marketplace, hit him up. He'll be in That's there it. soon. Let's do like a, we should do like a vote. We should try and get you on there. Like put Natty on the. Bro, you could just reach out, send him an email. I'll yeah. do it. Natty McLaren, please put him on everything. I actually, you know, it actually probably be a, a smart idea in, in a way because people would be like, Hey, I know that guy. Yeah, you know, that's it, funny. It would be because they'd, they'd be like, hey, I've seen that guy before. The fuck? It's like in, um, sometimes in Geelong, they're like, oh, are you that dude from 
the wonder thing? And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> was it? Was he? Was he shooting hoops? Yeah. No, it wasn't me. Nah, it's pretty. I wish you could. I wish I could do it more, but it's just trying to find a job that will accommodate for you to just have a day off here and there, just randomly. Yeah, legit. The dream. The dream would be something like getting a Wanderer factory or something, though, wouldn't it? Like having a like a hard. Just have my own warehouse. Yeah, mean? like a warehouse. Yeah, yeah, that'd be dope. That's that's the goal. Yeah, I know it's gonna happen. Would but you it's put just it? Would like you, the time. Would you put a basketball court in? Hundred percent. Yeah, just a three point. 100%. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I would too, kind of. It just it makes it look way more. I'd gangster. probably leave that and just I'd like just have my house at the back of it. Just put like a mezzanine, put a mezzanine up, and then just fucking have your house up on the like the balcony sort of thing. Yeah, no, that'd be dope. Gangster, that's doable. I'll move in. Yeah, we'll I'll make my do own a mezzanine. collab. You can do. You will split it in half. Tea house podcast. Yep, done. Mine. It'd be like our stall, but better. Can I have a full court basketball? Then I'll have a half court, and then the other half will be on your end. Yeah, it's fresh. Do we have we? Did we do our stall before our last podcast or after? Because me and Natty did a stall ages ago. It was definitely after we did the stall after. Yeah, we did yeah. do the stall after, didn't we? Yeah. So we did a we did a uh, market together, like a joint, like we were the same shop. I uh, pop up shop in um, pop up mouth. shop in the mall uh, for the siren the siren um fucking the siren crew. Yeah, the siren. You had crew. those boys on as well a bit after. Yeah, that. I did. Yeah, they're legends. I'm actually might even be shooting my podcast in their studio soon. So, don't know, don't know. We'll see. Be dope, don't know. Know. But yeah, that was fresh. But that was funny because like, it was, how funny? How funny is trial and error, bro? Like, you you go you go to these things and you like have an idea what you're gonna do, but you don't really know. And then you're like, all right, we'll just sit, rock up and see. And then you just like go and you you kind of hate. Yeah, yeah, the because first time you do anything, you're a bit, a little unprepared. I yeah, hundred like. percent. Especially because when you see all their stuff, you're like, like how how good were some people's stalls there, man? They'll kill it, like and you knew outside. they'd done them before. <laughs> you knew because like they were 100%. mint, bro. They were like 100%. good, and it's like fuck, that's actually sm- like. And then yeah, and actually, it was just flying everywhere. Yeah. Like we had nothing to weigh it down. Legit, it was no cool things to go with nothing. it. But how much better? And location, we had the worst spot. Yeah, legit, but. Next time, I reckon if we ever did one again, I reckon we can make it. I'd be fresh. Gangstar. Gangstar. Maybe we should just do a pop-up and we'll just pop up in random spots. We could do one in the city, actually. I'd have to find out. It'd be pretty cool, though. I'm you, sure there'd be so many other brands that are similar as well. They'd be keen. Yeah, fucking oath. I think the Siren, I don't know if when they messaged me last. I think, I think they're actually trying to do something in the city. I Someone don't. actually contacted me, one of my friends in... um in Geelong, shout out to Flex. He'll be watching this. Um, yeah, big tea bagger. Everyone is. <laughs> um, but Society yeah, he's um, kind of doing his own thing with his brand. Um, and then he's moving to Melbourne um, and he's going to build a studio there. And he's just like, oh yeah, I, I really want to start at kind of like a collective where we get other like-minded people and do these little pop-up stores. So I'll um, I'll have to reach out, hit you up. Yeah, fresh. I love, I love collectives. Yeah. I'm a collective. I'm I feel a like it'd be so much easier if I actually tried to find more people like that in the city as well. It's so big. Hundred percent, hundred percent. So many, such a variety. Mm. I find that the creative scene so weird though because that more competition as well. I feel like that's what it is. I feel like the creative scene's like weird in a way. Yeah, it is more competition. Mm. I feel like the cre- yeah. oh shit. I feel like the creative scene's like sort of weird because it's like I don't know. Like they all want to be friends with each other and stuff, but it's like. Sometimes I'm like, why? Because it's like, it, it kind of feels like you're competitors. Yeah, and I kind, no, I kind of feel it though. Like I'm, but like I feel like they're actually treating it like that in the same way though. But they're like pretending they're not. I don't know. Creative. I feel like there's so many creative things out there. Not like it's good to do collabs and shit like that. It's like I, if another clothing brand reached out and was like, oh, we'll do a collab or something. Oh, that'd be. I feel like it, it can't. As long as it benefits both brands, like yeah. it's kind of good in a sense because you like 100%. reaching new people. But I kind of know what you mean. Some people do take it too competitive. Like I remember, I did um one of the first clothing brands I used to model for. Um, as soon as they found out I was doing a brand, they took all, all your photos my, off, yeah. all my photos off their page. So even true. on their website. What was that brand again? 
It was a Sydney brand, wasn't it? It was fucking... No, it was um, Geelong brand. Was it a Geelong brand? Yeah, Frequencies. And I was a bit like... Are they Geelong boys, are they? Yeah, they're just in Geelong. And I was a bit like... Oh. That's a bit extreme. Yeah, <laughs> they just I mean. took all your photos yeah. off. <laughs> so I'm going to steal Where's all your that? customers. Yeah, dogs, come them over. I mean, all Frequencies customers, let's go. <laughs> Distant culture, let's go. That's funny, that's cunt. Yeah, it was pretty funny. Yeah, there you go, legend, just cut them off. Especially because it was like... I think I went on there to see their new drop and then I was like, wait, the fuck? There's only pics going. <laughs> Did you, you still follow them? Um, I don't think so because they unfollowed me. Oh, yeah. But I if they kept me on, I wouldn't have cared. I wouldn't have like taken it too hard too much. But I was like, oh, if you don't follow it, like I'm not going to follow you back. If you yeah. Me sort yeah. of thing. Bit stern. I'm a bit stern like that. Like I don't really care in the end. I just thought it was funny. I was like, if that was me, like I couldn't care less. I was like, because we we were so close though. Before that, I was a bit like, if say someone that I shot modeled for me started clothing brand, I'd be like sick, like good on you sort of thing. I wouldn't be like, oh shit. Oh, we use mates as well. Yeah, we'd talk all the time. Like they reached out to me. It wasn't even like via DM. Like we'd always just chat. Like we got along well. And then that's why I was like, what the. From that point, it was just like a competitor. It's like cut off. Well, it was pretty funny though. Let's start competing. <laughs> no, it's cool. It's funny because it, it, it's sort of getting a bit fluctuated at the moment too. They're probably mad that they gave me heaps of hints while I was working because I used to ask them that many questions about their brand and like how they did it. But they probably, but, but they kind of knew that I was going to build the brand because I told them because that's why we got along so well at the start because I was like yeah. into the same sort of similar shit. Yeah, true. But, but yeah, it was pretty. Funny. But you burnt bridges. You dogged them. They you dogged and me. You and you tried to steal. And you tried to steal their customers. They could have done a collab with me. That would have been huge. A huge, massive their loss. Massive their could, loss. Could have been the biggest. How many followers they got? Should we compare? No, I'm just joking. No, get out here. Mine's and got three mil now. They got three mil. No, I think I do. Yeah, I was gonna say you. You just hit three mil the other day. Yeah. Fuck yeah! Congratulations, bro. Killer. Next week will be. Well, it's gone like that quick. Yeah, that's mint. Yeah, it's chill. Yeah, same. Well, biggest biggest podcast. Two point eight of them. Two point eight of them are bots, but yeah. Do you buy them? Same shit. Yeah, it's right. <laughs> Who cares? Who cares? If it's fabricated or real. The numbers there. That's all that matters. That's it. Wait, is there an M or a K? If there's an M, who cares, can That's gangster. I've, I've been I've been finding I've been finding it a lot lately, right? I buy lots of. Tr- I probably own like four or five different tracksuits now. I've got matching. Sh- I've got a, heaps of kits where I've got like the matching mm. shorts and the massi- ma- matching tees and stuff like that. Has that like been like a thing recently, or have people older um, than us always done that? I don't even know. No, nah, I feel like it has definitely come back a little bit, especially with brands and stuff that I follow. Yeah, um, yeah I've been. I love it. I've been the same as well. Like it feels. I've it got feels dope having kind of the same. Kids. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm fresh. I'm 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 starting to get scared though because I'm I'm starting I'm I'm I've been like looking at like starting to match like hats, pants, and fuck. Like, well, not mm. pants so much, but like hats, t-shirts. I feel like and it's fucking everything. definitely in though. Like you always get kind of waves. Remember back in the day, the stripes. No yeah. one wears stripes anymore. Like it's always mm. the fashion's always changing. But I feel like Literally. it's already been done, but it just comes back in waves. 100%. Like in a couple of years, like people can just have stripes on everything. Do you, reckon, do you reckon skinny jeans will come back? I hope not. Are you going to go back to it? <laughs> I hope not. I'm never going back. I ain't going I back. I feel like there's certain, I think I only own one pair now, but I feel like there's still, actually, nah, I eventually like threw them away. But, like, if I'd wear a shirt, though, like a nice shirt or something, I felt like I couldn't wear something baggy. But now yeah. I'm, like, I've finally. I know what you're saying. I'd probably maybe would consider I feel so jeans. weird wearing tight jeans now. But, like, back in the day, that's all I would wear. Legit, same. I'd probably, yeah, like you said, I'd probably wear them with, like, a shirt. I just don't know that. if that's, like, an age thing as well, I feel like. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. I feel them. like I'm always no, wondering. Fashion, it's fashion, I'm always like, wondering what age I'm like. Is my fashion sense gonna stop? But I'm always evolving. Like I'm always wearing new shit. Weird. And because like I literally remember thinking this. Like thinking loose jeans look like shit. Cunt. Like I'd be like looking at cunts and been like, <laughs> Yeah. Now I'm like, yeah. total opposite. 
Wacko is kind of, what the fuck? Mm. I, I, I don't understand it. Now it's just cargoes for me. Cargoes Ooh. and trackies. Cargoes are fresh. I'm definitely more minimalistic now though. 100%. It's kind of, it's kind of better. It's more, it sort of looks older, a little bit older, mm. doesn't it? Because I, I remember I used to be like that back in when we first met. Because remember I'd always just wear my plain, I had my rotation, plain white yes. tee, grey, black, with my black jeans. <clears throat> yeah, you have sort of always been like that. You're like the first person I ever met that sort of altered their clothes to make things look like a certain way. I remember like even you used to oh, have like the yeah, the true. tight the the jean trick how you made like your jeans a bit tighter when tighter you folded them. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Like fucking pinch pinch the fucking pinch them, fold them in, and then fold them and shit. Yeah. No, that's that's literally why I love clothing brands as well. It's like I've. I love making shit my own way. That's mm. why I love having my own clothes. Like I pretty much only wear this and now. Like if I get other brands, I'm a bit like, oh, I hate how the sleeves are here. Or it's not long enough or it's a little bit too thin. Like even with these trackies, like I've added the, um, like like what you said, mm. like, you know, the little, so I've got the little adjusters here. So you can literally put them to whatever height. Yeah, they're fresh. Smash these on. Perfect. You don't <coughs> have to roll that's them That's nearly, the, nearly the best bit. The, that's the best part too, yeah. Do you want scrunch trackies? Do you want straight trackies? Why and I feel both? like once you have like good quality both? clothes as well, it's hard to go back. Oh, 100%. Like it's so hard to go back, especially being at this age as well. Like when you're younger, you're a bit you're like, oh, I might grow out of them. But now you're kind of like, I could have these for as long as I want. I'm just beyond kind because I reckon I don't wreck my distant clothes. My distant clothes go missing because guns nick them and shit. Like, it's the worst. Which one I've... No longer have that brown jumper, the crew neck. I think Braden sends me snaps and I'm like, isn't that Blake's? <laughs> Brado, you got my jumper? No, I actually know where it is. I'm not happy about it. Mm. And I love just making one-offs, like samples for my own. Yeah. That I don't even drop. Or like, I'll just give to you or friends. My dog with the clothes. That's actually like my favorite part. I think Seb, like one of my other good friends, he's got like three hoodies Two shorts. I don't even have. You don't even he'll just fit them. He'll just message me. He's like, "Hey, bro, can you? I really want a orange hoodie because I can't. I can't. I have to wear high vis for work, but I want it to be distant. So I made him a high vis jumper that he can just wear to work. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> Did you actually? Come? Yeah. Fuck, bro. Make me a high vis jumper. Whatever you want. I need a yellow one. <laughs> but yeah, the hard. Yeah, the hardest part is I want to bring out so much stuff, but like it. Like, as we did the club, you know, like, it's pretty expensive to bring out heaps of shit because, like, For going sure through a wholesaler, sure. like, minimum order is 50, 100. You have to, like, you can't just be like, oh, let's do 20 of these, but, like, five colours. It's like, oh, I've got to do 100. And ship the cunts on a boat because... Not even a boat. Flying them's like, fucking expensive. Yeah, that's why you're going to get ready as well. It's like, mm. if I um if I could plan seasons ahead, you'd save so much on shipping. <laughs> money you're like oh the clothes are that cheap then you're like how much is it to ship over almost as much as the clothes and you'd be like oh fuck you're really starting to like shit. and you're sitting there and you're like oh shit the gonna have to now sell i can't understand why people. some brands are like a fair bit exy mm. yeah 100 percent. but like yeah 100 percent. i it, i hate spending heaps of money on clothes and stuff sometimes too that's why after pay is a little bit dangerous isn't so dangerous. You've got afterpay, don't you? Wait, afterpay, after baby. Pay. Afterpay this shit. Dog. I'm gonna have to hit up my um brother's girlfriend's dad. He he runs. He he invented afterpay. I'd be like, can you give me some discounts or something, bro? That's my man. Let's work together. Free marketing. Let's work together, brother. <laughs> all all the profits you get from us. Surely you just take my fees down a little bit. Yeah, just a smidge. Do they even have fees in afterpay? Um, they just made money yeah, up. I think they take. 0.6%. Oh, I don't know the figures, but they take a percentage. So say someone pays like $100 for the hoodie, they'll give you like $98 or something. Yeah, true. But That's not too you bad do bad. get a fair few more sales through it. So it's like it's win-win. But yeah, they definitely do take a um, a fee. That's how they kind of make their money. Smart business though. Art hood. Fucking genius. Genius. Inventing afterpay. Genius. Bro, I'm going to invent an app one day. Same. In my course. Like I was showing you before. Mm. 
Yeah. We're going to make what's it. it. What's it going to be? We're going to make it. Um, we going to make it. I haven't thought of that yet. Otherwise, I'd be out. Maybe next podcast, I'll be talking about it. Yes, fresh. That's what we should be doing. Mm. Yes, gangster. All right, well, we're sort of getting close to the hour mark, so I reckon. Um, what, should we, what should we finish right with? Um, just go over the little cheeky discount code for you guys again. So, yeah, if you forgot, it's... Um, THP20. THP20. Um, I'll chuck up a post on my page and Blake's page, so we'll probably make it available for a week. Um, gives you guys some time. Sit, um, not a week from now, a week from when this is posted. So um, keep an eye out for that. Um, also, if you get the matching set, so anything over two hundred dollars is free shipping. So get the matching it's an sets, added bonus, bro. Added bonus. Get honestly, the matching like, sets. Let's get it. Like what? Honestly, if you hate them, you, you get your this, money back. Do you want to look this steezy? <laughs> like breezy? But yeah, no, <laughs> I think we um we killed this.